What's up guys? It's your casual golden deer enjoyer here. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing you my admittedly modest Fire Emblem merchandise collection. Uh, you know, right off the bat, it's what I'm wearing. Claude Von Regan uh, fit. Um, this jacket, I believe I bought off Amazon a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a nice jacket, it's cool, I like it. I'm happy with the purchase. It's not the highest quality, but then again, I didn't pay an outrageously high price for it either. Uh, I typically don't really wear it as a regular jacket, just because I feel like I have a lot a, a lot of other ones that can serve the purpose a lot better if I want to genuinely stay warm. But in terms of just like aesthetic, uh, it hits the nail perfectly. If you just look it up on Amazon, you should definitely see it. There should also be one for both Edelgard and Dimitri as well. And I think there's even one for Violet. But you know, this was the one that I ultimately decided on. So, so this, uh, hopefully there's some B-roll that you guys are seeing of me wearing that being a little goofy too. Uh, the next thing is probably, well, my favorite thing, um, is this Fire Emblem Awakening art book right here, right here. I abs absolutely love this. It's a nice hardcover, thick, dark horse production uh, that just has a bunch of, of cool, you know, art. Uh, and, and not only like the portrait art, but also like sketches and designs. Uh, they show a lot of art from the cutscenes as well, um, like this right here. Um, it's I'm super happy with this. I love this. I really, really wish that they had this for other games, but I just have not found it. And I have re regrettably did not purchase the collector's edition. Fire Emblem Three Houses had uh, a, a collector's edition that came with like a small art book. I don't have that, uh, but I do wish hopefully in the future, maybe they can release a publication such as this. And in the back here, on all these white pages, they actually have every support conversation in the game for you to read, uh, which is really cool. And even though it's an art book, uh, there's actually like a, a bit of a glossary section happening um, that explains a lot of mechanics, not just for the game, but kind of in the lore of the world, um, which is really cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this. Here's uh, Lissa and Pan. Um, but yeah, beautiful art with Lucina on the cover. Extends onto the back with butterflies. The retail price is $40 US. That's not what I bought it for. Pretty sure I bought it on sale. You can find it on Amazon. You can probably find it on like Barnes & Noble or something or other book websites. This is definitely a good one if you're a Fire Emblem Awakening fan um, or just a Fire Emblem fan in general, I think. Next is going to be something fairly standard. I'm sure if you're a Fire Emblem fan, many of you have these, uh, especially the ones that I'm going to show. Uh, but it's all about Amiibo, right? So the first one I'll show, I guess we'll go in order. For Fire Emblem Awakening, I have Krom and I have Robin, right? Now, I like collecting Amiibo. I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore collector, um, but certainly for series I like, I'll get them. That said, you know, Amiibo can be hard to get due to their limited quantity and increasing price due to that. So I, like I said, I don't have all the ones I want, but, but certainly for Fire Emblem, I have a couple at least, right? So here's Chrome and here's uh, Rob. For uh, Fire Emblem Fates, or if you're a, uh, a Japanese version, Fire Emblem, if, corn. A male corn, to be precise. Uh, I think there may be a female corn amiibo. But yeah, he's a cool one. I really love the way that like purple or uh, fire, whatever it is, looks on, uh, on the sword. Looks really good, in my opinion. And, and the cape, how it has the symbol back there. Really cool. All of these I display across my room. And lastly, for, you know, Fire Emblem Three Houses, there's Violet, of course, male Violet. Just to grab the corn again, there's kind of a similar effect on Violet's sort of creator as there is on uh, Corn's sword. I'm kind of, I'm blanking on the name of Corn's sword. I want to say Yamato, I don't think that's right. I think that's a different sword. Uh, but here's Violet, and those are actually all of the amiibo I have for Fire Emblem, unfortunately. I only have those four. Uh, but that's fine with me, you know, those are, those are the main characters and all the most recent entries. Well, I guess not engage, but I have not played engage either, so I'm not too worried about that. And I don't even know if there's an amiibo for a Leer. 
but there are certainly amiibo that i wish i had uh like i wish i had almond celica i'm sure there's a lucina amiibo uh moving on like i said modest collection this is the last item it's also the most recent purchase and it is a statue but it is not an amiibo and that would be my wonderful girl Lysithia von Ordelia. Now I did get this, this is, like I said, my most recent addition to the collection. And usually it's situated on that bookshelf right behind me. You know, I guess for scale, for comparison, I'll, I'll, gra I'll grab an Amiibo to put next to her. Let's do, let's do Byleth, because that's a Three Houses character. So if I put a Byleth on just the stand right next to her, that's the size comparison. So she's about maybe double the size. Now this is not official. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is. I, I did purchase it from a third party seller. I actually bought it from Bright Stuff. She was actually relatively cheap. I believe she was only 20 or $30. Um, and certainly the quality of the figure is very high for that price point. Um, sorry, wow. I didn't even notice she's so dirty. I, sorry, I usually have these up on my shelf and I don't clean them uh, that much really ever uh, uh hopefully if i'm showing you b-roll she's a lot more cleaned up there but not yet in this footage um i just i really like her a lot but that's you know that's really all i have for you this jacket the book the four amiibo and this wonderful lysithia statue however there are two more things that i would like to say maybe potentially three we'll say uh number one is if you've been looking at my channel previously or if you're a subscriber or maybe you've just come across it, I have recently been making Fire Emblem shorts. The first one I made was with Byleth and Edelgard. The second one I made was with Nemesis. And the third one I made was with Rhea. Uh, and personally, I'm super proud of them. You know, it's kind of the exact content that I personally would like to consume. So every time I make one, I'm super hype and I just watch it over and over again because it's the exact thing I would like to watch. Um, you know, whenever I previously would look up Fire Emblem shorts, I would really only see a lot of these more Fire Emblem focused YouTubers just kind of talking about something and maybe showing scenes or graphics from the game, but, but not really like epic shorts in the way that I think of them, like character driven shorts with like music in the background and it's like a, a mix or like an AMV. Uh, I've never really seen that for Fire Emblem and, and I was very excited to create those. So if that sounds something like something you're interested in, definitely check out my YouTube channel. As of time of this posting video, I should have about three or four already on there. And personally, although I'm just getting started and I, I do already see areas in which I can improve, I, I do think in my opinion, at least, I do think that they're actually relatively high quality. So yeah, that's the first thing that I would like to say. The second thing I would like to say is that on this channel, I actually frequently stream games as well and upload, well, I don't upload traditional videos too often. Um, however, I do like to stream games. Uh, and, and certainly if me streaming Fire Emblem would be something interesting to you, you know, let me know in the comments. I would. I, I would plan to do that eventually. However, if that's something you would like to see like right this second, let me know and I'll start. Like, if you want it, I'll do it. Uh, whether that's three houses, whether that's three hopes, I didn't buy Engage yet, I could buy Engage. I haven't played that original Fire Emblem game I showed you. I do have Awakening and Shadows of Lentia. However, I'm not quite sure how I would capture the footage and stream those. So I'm gonna shelve those for now, but certainly if there's a game on the Switch that you would like me to play, let me know, I'll do it. The last thing that I would like to say, and this was not yet, this was not something that I was sure I would like to talk about. I actually am the author of a fan fiction. Now, I always thought that fan fiction was something stupid, right? And I think a lot of that came from the fact that I never really understood what fan fiction is and could be. I kind of always associated it with the more adult themed stories and, and kind of terrible writing and just 
pure nonsense that comes out of some fans minds however once i started consuming fan fiction i kind of realized that there's actually a lot of high quality stories that are simply using someone else's world and someone's characters to tell their own story and certainly there are a lot of what i just talked about adult stories horrible writing complete nonsense, whatever. But there are also a lot of stories that I think are genuinely very good. And as a fan, it's actually something that I like to consume, I found, um, for, for not just Fire Emblem, but a multitude of stories. And again, I think I'm a little biased, like I was talking about with my shorts, but I genuinely do think that the story that I'm writing is actually pretty good. Now, it's not perfect. I already know what the flaws of it are. However, I'm kind of too deep into it. Uh, but if you're interested, it's called The Fell Stars Return. That's the title, The Fell Stars Return. I publish it on a multitude of writing websites such as Scribble Hub, uh, you know, Royal Road, Fan Fiction, Archive of Our Own. Uh, it's on Wattpad. Um, it's on Web Novel. The premise is essentially that Sothis kind of awakens within Byleth when Byleth is still a child. So you know how in the games, Byleth is like a 21, 22, around there. So this wakes up. In my story, he's about like five, okay? Um, and it's basically my interpretation of how things would go. Now, I don't know if that's something that you would be interested in. I'll link it below. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't really expect anybody to be interested, but I figured I'd mention it just because it is a creative endeavor that I pursue regarding Fire Emblem. Just a word of warning is that I am a slow writer, a very slow writer. Creative endeavors just take me a while, whether that's writing, making videos, whatever. I find that it just takes me a while, which is unfortunate, but it's the reality. Um, so on the very slim chance that a viewer is interested, clicks one of those links, actually likes the story, just know that I uploads very, very slowly, okay? Um, but yeah, that's the last thing that I wanted to mention. I know I kind of uh, rambled on a little bit on the end there. Please uh, check out any of the things I just talked about if you're interested, whether that be uh, the shorts, whether that be you know my gameplay videos or my other videos or my you know, writing. Please, you know, like, comment, Subscribe if anything I just talked about was remotely interesting to you. If you enjoyed this video, you know, let me know. If you didn't enjoy this video, let me know why. If you think I, you know, if you think I talked way too much, tell me. Tell me, like, bro, you talk way too much. Like, stop talking. Just show us the things and then end the video. Okay, I'll do that. Cool. Appreciate the feedback. Let me know what you think I could do better. What you want to see. That's what I'm here for. I want to make videos that people want to watch. That being said, if you did enjoy this one, let me know that. It's all for me. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Pupito McMuffin. That's how you say it. Pupito McMuffin. All right. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.